I've been working on the computer quite a bit since the last time I posted, and it's just pretty much like a catch-up of all the things I wasn't getting done, responding to emails, getting quotes sent, and I actually had a bunch of inquiries about jobs recently. So it was a good time at the beginning of the week to just kind of catch up and get some stuff ready for the CNC to cut. Had to do uh, CNC maintenance, uh, which includes pr primarily for our machine, just lubing all of the Zerks um, and then cleaning out all the old gunk. So we do that about every 50 to 60 hours of runtime, and there's no actual counter, so we just kind of tallied up ourselves. So I did a pretty extensive clean job on it, which is nice. I hadn't really gotten into all the crevices, so we're gonna go through that. Um, we've done a lot of layups, glue-ups for our bases, which are kind of surrounding me right now. I can take you through those a little bit. They're all for the bases, and we've had a couple few more orders, and so Definitely getting through kind of the first rush of getting them out there, which has been really nice. It's been encouraging to put out a new product and actually have orders for them. So um, that's been great. And it's definitely been a big learning curve for me to go from making one or two at a time to spending hours preparing material and then gluing them up. And we're setting up a whole new fixture so we can run multiple at a time. Um, that's pretty much ready. So the next couple of days are gonna have quite a bit of change. And a lot of the time up till now has been kind of preparation for that uh, while trying to keep production somewhat going. Um, sending out a bunch of parts like we did last week with the big pallets, um, that was pretty great. We still have about 60% of that project to go to get out. Um, so we'll still be doing those parts for sure. And we got a whole new set of stair treads uh, that we will be pocketing one side and doing some drills for a customer we have. Not all of that today, but this is upcoming. And yeah, let's go check it out. Most of my day today was just working in the office, going through quotes and emails and all that kind of stuff. But I did get through getting all this broken down into base layup material quite a bit. It's looking pretty good. Here's what I was working on the other day. Probably two, two inches in there. And then this is the stuff I couldn't get glued up last week, but I have a couple more to put on here and there'll be two more of those, two more ashes. That should be what I do tonight still. Yeah, looking good. Gonna have a lot to machine here quick with that new roughing tool. GoPro stop. GoPro stop. GoPro stop recording.
always disliked doing the CNC maintenance, and it's really not that bad. It really just entails hitting up all 12 of the grease cirques with this little grease gun. And honestly, you should really always clean up all the kind of mess that's created, especially when chips get flying. They like to stick to the grease on the rails and the grease flies into weird places like the z-axis here you can see behind the ball screw there's always grime and it's really hard to get to you kind of got to you know squeeze your way in there and it's just not fun but it's got to do it otherwise you get a real messy machine and that probably won't last very long This is kind of like pimple popping. It's quite satisfying to find a good segment of, of gunk deep in the machine. Doesn't get much better than that. So I was going to do a and a I asked for questions on Instagram and got quite a few good questions and I was waiting to answer them on camera obviously and I go and pull up the story in the archive because obviously it's disappeared by now and you can see here I you know, swipe up, usually they would all be right here, there's just nothing and I've Googled the hell out of it and I can't seem to find how you can see the, the answers after 24 hours. So apparently I need to like screenshot it if I want to do this again. So I would have loved to have answered some questions. I thought there were some really good ones in there, but they're gone. So unless you know how to figure out where they went, I've looked in both insights and archive, neither have that information anymore. And I've looked at old ones too. Like the last time I did this, it's disappeared as well. So it kind of sucks. I, I feels like a really stupid way to do that Instagram. So if you know, let me know in the comments or send me a DM or something, but we're still going to do Q and A's in the future. I think they're pretty fun. Um, hopefully I won't lose them next time. So here's all the layups I've been working on. I've got an ash. Still in the clamps. Another ash. Got a lot of ash orders. An ash, ash, ash. Uh, this is a maple that still needs to get glued up. That's another maple. It's being glued up. So each of these makes two. And then eh, nothing really back there. So this is a fresh spoil board. Just 
cut on both sides and it's still warping. We've got all this cleaned up. Looking real clean and fresh. All the ball screws and yeah, clean this whole thing. Got a lot of grime on it. Looks real nice now. So we shouldn't have any more issues for a while with the x-axis problem. Just got all these in. We're gonna have to put a big pocket on the side of each one of the stair treads and then roundovers, sanding, and there's some drilled holes for the, for the connection points. These look really nice though. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a couple posts a week now going forward, uh, vlogs, and then I also wanna get into more project-based videos like we had been doing before I started the vlog, um, one of which is I'm thinking about steep and shallow with a cam feature, the cam operation. Um, and what's cool about that is it's available to everybody now. Um, the, uh, if you hadn't seen, Fusion just put out a, the A4 release on their blog, and obviously through the software, you probably saw some kind of update. And part of that is they're making the manufacturing extensions available to everybody. So go check that out. Um, go check, I'll put the link to the, the A4 release blog post down below. But I'm thinking we'll do a video, a longer form video on coming up in the next week or two about how, don't hold me to that, about uh, how Stephen Shallow is pretty much amazing in the whole saying around it goes, Stephen Shallow everything once you've used it. Um, it is fairly expensive to get into the manufacturing extension, so it's pretty cool that we're getting to try it out for free. Everybody has access to it right now. Um, and it works with pretty much every three axis machine, five axis as well, obviously. It just really kind of rolls all the cool features of three axis machining into one operation. Um, I've had a little chance to play with it and I'd love to get a chance to play with it more as well as show you guys what it's like. So um, let me know what you think about that below in the comments. But yeah, I think I'll be posting a vlog Sunday of the next couple days and then sometime in the middle of the week I'll do another one uh, is the schedule I'm thinking about right now so that should give me some time to collect myself keep working on projects in the shop production as well as kind of keep up my normal duties of uh, what goes on in the office and trying to keep work flowing in so yeah that's what I'm thinking right now. I want to thank all of you that shared the channel when I asked in a past episode. We had a nice boost in subscribers, and that was nice to see. Next episode, Sunday morning, we'll surely get into some CNC routing.